All right, I'm going to kind of go through these fast so you can check, or if you want to just go right to the end and see the final product, that's fine, but I'll work out these problems. But I'm going to go a little bit fast. All right, here we go. So I'm going to put these two sets of parentheses, put my x at the beginning. I look at the last term, it's positive. And then I look at the middle term, that's positive. That tells me they're both going to be plus signs in here. And now I do my factoring of 12. Would 1 and 12 get me an 8? No. How about 2 and 6? Yes. 2 plus 6 makes 8. 2 times 6 makes 12. So a 2 and a 6. And then the order of that doesn't matter. They've actually got the x plus 6 first and the x plus 2 second. So that's fine. So I'm going to just put red around these. All right, so I'm heading down here to this x squared plus 2x minus 80. Again, I'll start with my two x's in my first spots. And now I'm doing 1 and 80. Does that make 2? No. 2 and 40? No. 3 doesn't go in there. 4 and 10? They're getting closer. They're 14 or 6 apart. And then 5 and 16, that's not going to work. 6 doesn't go in there. 7 doesn't go in there. 8 and 10. Yes. Yeah. So it's a minus sign here. That tells me there's one of each sign. So it have to be a positive times a negative to get a negative 80. And then I got positive 2x for my middle term. That means I'm going to need more positive. So that means the 10 goes with the plus sign and the 8 goes with that minus sign. And so it looks like we're heading diagonally down here. So then we're going down over here. All right, now we'll do this one. X and X for our first parts. And then it's a minus sign here. So there's a plus and a minus in my two different binomials. And so one and 24, they aren't five apart. Two and 12, they're 10 apart, getting closer. 3 and 8, those are 5 apart. Winner, winner. Now, which one should be negative? It's a negative 5 for the middle term. That tells me that I need more negative. So 8 would be the one that's negative, and 3 would be the one that's positive. And it looks like we are headed straight down here. So there's my correct answer. Notice they had the x minus 8 first. Doesn't matter. The two binomials can be in either order. All right, here's a one that jumps out at me when I see these. If I see the middle term being one more than the last term, I know the factoring is just one in that number. It's prime, so there's no other way to factor it either. This is a positive sign, so that tells me they're both the same which means then we can have two minus signs. It's both the same of this middle term sign, and then a 1 and a 5 in whichever order. So it looks like that's making us head back up to the middle here. All right, this one now, x and an x. Positive sign here on the last term, positive sign in the middle term, that means there's both positives. And then 1 and 18, that doesn't make 9. 2 and 9, that makes 11. So that's close, but no. How about 3 and 6? Yes. 3 times 6 makes the 18. 3 plus 6 makes the 9. So that's heading us back up here. All right, let's do this one now. Now this is a one here, so don't forget the hiding one. And so this is a negative sign, so it tells me there's gonna be one of each. It means the positive one's gonna be um, a little bit bigger. So obviously one and 72 are not one apart. I'm doing subtraction. I'm thinking how far apart these are. Two and 36, that doesn't work. Three and 24, no. 4 and 18, no. 5 doesn't go in there. 6 and 12, no. 8 and 9. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Now, which one is the positive one? It's positive 1x, so I need more positive. 
So it's like I'm going to war with these two. I want the 9 to be positive and the 8 to be negative. And that looks like it's just going right down below it here. Alright, this one X and X. Positive sign here. Whoops, i to move that up for you, sorry. Positive sign there tells me they're both the same. Negative sign for the middle term tells me they're both negative. And now 1 and 10, that's not going to add up to be 7. 2 and 5 though, winner, winner. Alright, and that looks like we're heading diagonally. And this one here, x and x. It's a minus sign, so that means there's one of each sign, negative times a positive. And then 1 and 12, that doesn't work. 2 and 6, nope. 3 and 4, yeah, they're one apart. Which one do I want to make negative? The bigger one, since I've got a negative 1 there. So negative 4, positive 3, and there it is. We just finished the maze. Ta-da! Alright, I'm glad you took a little extra time to practice. This will come in handy. What did we do? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 extra problems here. Good work. We'll see you in... I guess we won't see you. Do everything your parents say. Have a good day. Bye. I wish I could see you.